Hmm, well, what's going on, Cardinal Nation? Well, great win tonight. Great win. And unfortunately, though, with our loss last night, uh, as the Cardinals lost last night to Cleveland, uh, that officially eliminated us from playoff contention. Uh, and, yeah, for a second straight year, and... Uh, disappointing for sure no playoff baseball for a second straight year and it's definitely not what we were hoping for uh but you know really just really trying to at best try to finish the season at 500 so um yeah and the guardians who actually before this game started were uh, announced that they were uh uh winners of the American League Central Division by virtue of their uh, win uh, or by virtue of their win last night and the uh, Royals losing to the San Francisco Giants Cleveland quenches the AL Central and likely will probably be the, three, the two seed in the American League playoffs so anyway Game will be scoreless until the bottom of the fourth. Two run home run by Jordan Walker. Uh, Fort Walker, his fourth of the year. RBI is 24, 25, and 26 to put us up uh, two to nothing. Uh, and then uh, the Guardians will cut the lead to to uh, two to one, two to one. In the top of the fifth, a solo home run by Bo Naylor, their uh, catcher, who is the brother of the Guardians' first baseman, Josh Naylor. And for Bo Naylor, his 13th of the year, that will make it 2-1. to one. Miles Michaelis in this game in his final start at Bush Stadium this year. Six solid innings, gave up just a run, struck out four to not walk a batter. So a nice start by him. It's been an up-and-down season for Miles. Uh, scoreless seventh inning from Andrew Kittredge. Then in the bottom of the seventh, Mason Wynn would score on an error. Paul Goldschmidt would reach first on an error by Josh Naylor. And then a three-run home run by Ivan Herrera to put us up 6-1, to one, his fourth of the season. And actually, the home run by Walker was his fifth. And that was his, drove in his 6th, 17th, and 18th runs. And... Now 26 RBIs for Ivan Herrera. So that would put us up 6-1, to one, but then a three-run homer by Jose Ramirez would cut the lead to 6-4. That was off of Jojo Romero for Ramirez, his 37th of the year, now 112 runs batted in. So that was off of Romero, and then Matthew Libertor would come in and give up an RBI double to... Uh, Andres Jimenez, that would make it a 6-5 game, still just one out, but the Guardians would not get a run. So, we'd be up by run, and Ryan Helsley, looking for another save, and he would strike out the side in order to give us the win 6-5. His 46th save tied for the most with Guardians closer Emmanuel Classe, who we have not faced yet this series. So... Helsley still has a chance with uh, seven games left to set a Cardinals single season saves record. So we can look to win this series tomorrow afternoon in our final home game of the season. Andre Palante gets a start against right-hander Gavin Williams for Cleveland. So it would be great to win this series uh, and, you know, close out the home portion of the schedule on the right note. So, also it was announced that Sonny Gray, his season, unfortunately is over. Been placed on the IL with a flexor tendonitis and Kyle Lee, a recall from AAA. And Sonny Gray said he would have been able to keep pitching if the Cardinals have not, would have not have been eliminated from the playoffs uh, last night. So, but Sonny Gray, his first season in St. Louis, an outstanding one. Over 200 strikeouts. Won't win the Scion Award, but could get some votes. So, great first season for Sonny Gray in St. Louis. 
and see if he'll be our opening day starter next year uh, in 2025. Gray is actually originally supposed to start an opening day this year, but he got hurt. So, anyway, see if we can take two of three from an outstanding Cleveland team before we go out on the road to Colorado. So, till uh, Sunday, count up saying go cards.